In the last episode, we created a theme for our October CMS uh, website. And in this episode, we are going to set up Laravel Elixir to work with that theme. Laravel Elixir is going to compile our CS files and it's also going to compile our JS files and concatenate them. And also we are going to enable live reload so that whenever we make changes to our files, it's going to automatically refresh our browser so that we can see the changes immediately. Before we begin doing uh, Laravel Elixir or installing it, I just want to show you this GitHub repository. In this repository, we will store all of the files that we make in this video tutorial. So you can check them out. The link will be in the description below this video. Uh, every part of this tutorial series is going to be in this releases right here. So right now we have one release and it's for this video because this is the first time that we are actually doing some coding. So you will be able to just download the source code if you don't want to follow uh, the video with me and type everything. Okay, so now that we got that settled, let's set up Laravel Elixir on our October CMS installation. So right now I am in my October movies uh, root directory. And of course, since Laravel Elixir is using Gulp, you will have to have Gulp installed and of course Node.js installed. But if you have been following any of the videos uh, in um, on my channel, uh, I hope you already got those installed. You can install them on Windows, on Linux, on OS X and so on. So. First thing we need to do, we need to initialize uh, the package.json file and to do that you just do npm init. And now we wait a little bit, okay. So it's going to ask you some questions. Most of the time you can just do enter, enter, enter. So the name is going to be October movies, version, description, Laravel Elixir, entry point, whatever, test command, whatever, git repository, who cares, and that should be it. Is this okay? Yes. And now we got our uh, package.json file initialized. Next thing we need to do, we need to install a Laravel Elixir. So to do that, we do npm install save dev laravel elixir and then we wait for a few minutes okay so now that the laravel elixir is installed the uh, next thing we need to do is we need to install a laravel elixir live reload so to do that you do pretty much the same thing but you do laravel elixir elixir live reload and of course, wait for a few minutes since uh, uh, node uh, packages are pretty slow to download. Now that this is also done, I'm just going to create gulp file.js. Okay, and now we have a gulp file. And next thing we need to do, we need to configure that gulp file so that we it will work with our installation of October CMS. Before we start configuring our Gulp file, I just want to show you what I did behind the scenes. So in this assets folder right now you have CSS. So this is what we did the last time, JS also what we did the last time, and of course CS, which I added behind the scenes. So this is pretty much uh, the SCSS files from my Olympus team. Uh, you can of course add any files you want right here. So I just added some CSS files so that I can show you how the Laravel Elixir compiles all those files into one file. And you have the style.css file which actually imports SUSE, uh, res resets, mixins, variables and so on, all of the files that you see right here on the left side. 
So this is what I did behind the scenes. Now we are going to go to our gulp file.js and in that file we are going to set up our Laravel Elixir configuration so that it works with October CMS. So first of all, I'm going to create a variable called Elixir and in that variable, I'm going to require Laravel Elixir. Next thing we need to do, we need to require Laravel Elixir live reload. Okay, now that we got that set up, uh, so we are going to use this variable so that we can configure Laravel Elixir. So uh, set some assets path and public path. So to do that, you do Elixir. So elixir.config.assetsPath and then we are going to set them up to be, so the path to our assets. So as you can see, we have themes, Olympus, assets. So we have to write that. Okay. And <clears throat> one more thing we need to do, we need to define a public path. So this is the path that uh, Laravel Elixir is going to save our compiled files. So our CS files and our JS files. So we do the same thing, Elixir, config, and then we do public path equals, we can just copy this. And instead of themes Olympus assets, we are going to just add compiled. So this is where our CSS and JS files are gonna live. And then we are going to call them from that place in our theme. I'm first going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can better see it. And now we're going to create a Elixir function. So, and we're going to pass it a variable called mix. Okay. And next thing we need to do, we need to tell it uh, which file to use to compile our CS. Since we already set up this and Laravel Elixir already knows that all the CS files are in the CS folder, so we don't have to write CS right here or something like that. Uh, we just do this. So we just add mix.cs style.scss. Uh, Laravel Elixir will automatically know to go to this folder to find that file. Also, we need to mix our scripts. So we wanna concatenate our scripts uh, to do that. Or we just do almost the same thing. So we create mix.scripts and in that mix.scripts, we define an array of the files that we want to mix together or combine together so that our JavaScripts are compiled. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, jQuery. And then we need to mix our app.js file. So if we go to this JS directory, we have app.js and jQuery. So first of all, of course, jQuery because we require it and then we do app.js. And that's it. Uh, and I'm just going to save this file right now. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this CSS folder because we don't need it anymore. Delete it. Okay. Now, if we go to our web page and refresh it, we should get an error. Okay, so we get this exception because as you can see, it is trying to call assets CSS style.css. Of course, we don't wanna call that file. We wanna call our compiled file. So to compile it, uh, we go to our terminal and just do gulp. And if we did everything correctly with the configuration, it should actually work. It takes a bit longer 
for all of that to compile once you run it the first time but as you will see when we uh, gulp watch it or when we watch our files it's going to go pretty fast so if we go to our code editor right now and if we check out this assets folder right here you can see that we have compiled so Laravel is smart enough to know to create two new folders in compiled folder one is CSS where we have our style.css which is this so it's compiled and we also have this all.js file which uh, consists of a jQuery currently and our app.js file. So as you can see, it's all here, it's compiled. Now uh, we just need to go to our layout folder and we need to call those files instead of these. So as I mentioned in the previous episode, uh, when we call our files like this it's automatically going to concatenate them so it's going to go through the october's asset pipeline and compile your files but since we are not going to be using october's default asset pile pipeline what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove this square bre brackets right here and this is the way you call the CSS files that you need. So we are currently calling assets CSS style.css, but we don't want to call them. We want to call the combined, actually compiled, compiled CSS style.css and then you use this filter for the theme so it's going to uh, automatically add a absolute url to your css file as you will see and we also need to do the same thing for the scripts so we are only going to be calling one script okay so assets uh, compiled JS and we are not calling app.js but all.js so Laravel Elixir automatically calls that file all. Of course if you check out the Laravel Elixir documentation you will see the ways that you can change those names for the files if you really want to but I'm going to leave it as it is right now so in compiled we have JS and we have this all.js also uh, take a look that it's creating uh, style.css.map files which you can use with your uh, web developer tools in Chrome and all all.js map files for your JS files okay if we save this right now and go to our page and refresh it as you can see, now it says this is our home page, and since there are some stylings in our CSS file, it, it is looking like this. Also, if we check out the page source, we can see that it's calling this link right here. So October movies, dev themes, Olympus, assets compiled, CSS, style.css, and the same thing goes for uh, this right here, so for our JavaScripts. So this is the theme filter that you can use uh, in Twig. So to get uh, the URL of uh, your current, uh, current working site and your theme. So now I'm just going to go to my gulp file JS and paste this in. So this is a mix for live reload. So what we are saying right here is watch themes olympus assets compiled style.css uh, watch all the htm files and also uh, watch all the compiled javascript files so when we run uh, gulp watch right now we should be able to uh, make a change to our css or sas and then it will automatically be refreshed so let me just save this uh, go right here and I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm just going to say gulp watch 
Now that Gulp is watching, uh, we can go to our code editor and open, let's say, globals.scss file. And right here we have body background is white. Let's just try to change it to be black. Actually, before you do that, if you want to see how Light Reload works, you should go to Chrome and turn on Live Reload plugin. So enable it. And now we will just say 000, save this. And now we wait for the page to reload because the first time that you uh, compiled CSS with watch, it takes a bit longer, but then it works pretty fast. So we can check it out right here. So as you can see, it's not compiled yet, but it's going to be in a second. So now it's compiled and as you can see our page is black right now. So if we go right here and do FFF, save it, it's white right now. Okay, so the next thing we can do, we can go to our pages, to homepage.htm and say this is our homepage, yay. Save this, go to our site, and as you can see, the page is already refreshing, and it says this is our homepage, yay. Okay, so n uh, this way you get live reload working. Don't forget to turn on live reload plugin for Chrome. As you have seen, this has been pretty easy, uh, only a few lines of code, and you got all your gulp uh, working. So that's the benefit of Laravel Elixir that you don't have to write, I don't know, 50 lines of code to get the same thing as we did right here. So this is it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook if you want. Also, if you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to it. Uh, thank you for watching once again and I will see you in the next episode.